starts now at 11. Uh, this could have been very tragic uh, for both uh, our officers as well as citizens within our community. A brazen criminal with no regard for his victims, at least that's how Metro Police described the man accused of robbing a casino cage and then shooting a police officer during his escape. Thanks for joining us. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Brian Loftus. Tonight, a neighbor is sharing what he saw hours before the whole thing unfolded. A News Now reporter Shakela Alvaranga is live at the Bellagio right now to explain. Shakela? Well, Brian and Denise, we went to the suspect's home today. Michael Cohen's neighbors couldn't believe what happened on Friday. Caught on camera, 49-year-old Michael Cohen robs a casino cage, then tries to escape in a white car, but he can't find the keys. So he makes his way over to this black BMW. The driver refuses to let him in. That's when things turn terrifying. This incident occurred on a busy Friday night at a strip hotel and involved a brazen criminal who showed no regard for his victims and was willing to use deadly force on a police officer in order to make his escape. As police jump into action, Cohen shoots one of them. Another officer fires back, killing him. I'm just surprised. You, you know, you never know who your neighbor is in Vegas. You know, you just never know. Wow. Yeah. This man didn't want to show his face on camera, but he says he saw Cohen hours before it all went down. He was getting in his car, getting ready to go somewhere. And sometimes I have to get his attention and say, hey, how you doing? You know, but um, he waved back, but he didn't say nothing. He, he usually doesn't. Police believe Cohen is the same person who robbed the Bellagio back in 2017. A neighbor described him as quiet. He didn't give anything off. He was never angry. He was never just always got on a scooter, cruised the neighborhood, whatever, but he was just stay to himself if he's real quiet. And um, yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't bother anyone or he stays to himself mostly. Now, according to police, Cohen has two felony convictions for bank robberies, one in 1999, the other in 2008. Thankfully, that officer's bulletproof vest saved his life. Reporting live, Shakela Alvarenga, 8 News Now. Back to you.